Holy cow. Wow. That's crazy. Are you doing a time delay? Uh, I'm doing a video here and I'll, I'll end up doing a photo when they try and pass oh. Venus. Wow. There they are. You can fit them all in one, one field of view right here. Go get... Yeah, get that. Wow. They're so bright. They're almost to Venus. Yeah. There's Venus. See him, Dad? These are all the starlings. Oh, wow. Is that cool? It's really defined. That's incredible. You shoot this? Yep. Man, they're really defined. Uh, these were a couple days ago. Uh, which, what? Not sure what you mean. Like, why are they still so visible? Like, when all the other ones that are up there. Uh, because they're so close together. So the ones that are in the front are the fastest, and so they're the closest to the planet still. Uh, the ones that are in there in the back are starting to raise their orbit, so they are sort of regressing, going backwards. That is incredible. That's way more defined than they were before. Yeah, so they're more defined than they were before now because it's darker than we saw them last time, and they're still just as bright. That's incredible. Are they going into clouds? Uh, no, they're going into the shadow of the Earth. So when you when they start to disappear, if you were like on board one of the satellites, you'd see a sunset. So the sun's like dropping below the curve of the Earth from up there. Uh, so bright. Here, let me try and get a video of them going into darkness. There's three there that kind of look like the Orion's belt. Yeah. Right there. Off in tonight. Really 